There's no way the calculator people made the Javelin anti-tank weapon. Oh my gosh, they did. And it actually kind of makes sense. You see, Texas Instruments isn't actually the calculator people. They're the semiconductor and microprocessor people. And that's why this makes sense. Because every single Javelin missile has 250 microprocessors on it, which make it do its really fancy fly thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, most anti-tanker rocket launchers go from point A to point B in a straight line. Not the Javelin. It fires, goes straight up in the air, goes WWE from the top rope and lands on the top of the tank. And the reason why they did that is because tanks are way less armored at the top. They expected damage to come from the front and the side, so they armored those pieces. And they were like, nothing's ever going to come from above. Right, Javelin? You're goddamn right. So that's why it kind of makes sense that Texas Instruments designed the Javelin. And to be fair, when I hear the words Texas Instruments, this is mostly what I picture. And it makes me terrified of a Texas orchestra. Hey, General Electric, what you making there, bud? Aw, uh, I like things that spin. Aw, buddy, what spinning things have you made? Oh, you know, like washing machines and hydroelectric plants and jet engines and then the Gatling guns to put on the jet engines. Oh, my Lord. What does it shoot? It fires this at 65 rounds a second. The little one, right? The little one? Nah, the big one. And it comes in explosive versions. General Electric, what happens to the people? They become a red mist. That's why we have the washing machine. I like things that spin. Hey, Glock, what are you making, buddy? Well, we make the 45 and the 9mm and the 380 and the 22. Do you make anything that doesn't hurt things? Horse insemination. What? Horse insemination. Oh, that is some powerful eye contact, but why? My father always told me eye contact is an important part. No, I meant the other thing. How are they related at all? They're both about shooting things into other things. Gross. Why? Because we like horses and we don't like people. You ever met a horse you didn't like? No. You ever met a person you didn't like? Yeah. I see your point. Yeah, so just let me know if you want to make horses or remove people. I'm free till five, so we got time. Hey, Mitsubishi, what do you make, buddy? Uh, I make things that share things with other people. Yeah, like what? Uh, we make cars and freezers that can share food with other people, as well as escalators and elevators. We also make robots, which is cool. Cool? Anything else? Nope, just zero. Nothing more? Uh, no, the zero, which ironically has two of a lot of things. Two 20mm cannons, two 303 machine guns, and two 130-pound bombs. What does that share with other people? The glory of the Empire of Japan. Did anybody ask for that? No, they were very unhappy about it. But now we make satellites. What do those share? Anime. Why? So that people forget about the glory of the Empire of Japan. Hey, Nintendo, what have you made, bud? Uh, we make video games and children's toys. We used to run a taxi cab service and have love hotels. Uh, we also used to make playing cards. What were the love hotels used for? Uh, whatever the nice guys in suits that had money and also weapons wanted. But it was great because we could take them to the love hotels with our taxis and bring them back and help us sell our playing cards. What was on the playing cards? Nudes. This doesn't still affect the things you make today for children, right? Uh, have you ever played Paper Mario or any Metroid game? We have an entire series called Smash. Do you not know that? Please stop. Okay, just one more thing. How do you get better Pokemon in the Pokemon games? Well, you leave your Pokemon at a hotel with Ditto, which you never have to take out because it'll breed with anything. And then you get a better... Oh. Well, that sounds like a love hotel to me. Let me know if you need some playing cards for, you know, solitaire. Hey, Rolls-Royce, what do you make, buddy? Uh, yeah, we make things that go vroom. Yeah, like what? Uh, we make luxury cars and airplane engines. We use those airplane engines to fight the Germans. But I mean, like, who didn't at that time? Also, we now make electric airplanes and submarines, which are nice. Oh, like a little tourist submarine? That sounds so fun and peaceful. Uh, yes, fun, not peaceful. We make all of the UK's nuclear submarines. What? Nuclear-powered or nuclear-armed? Uh, both. They're nuclear-powered and nuclear-armed. They are a nuclear family. How does that go vroom? Well, because the propellers go vroom, and when the nuclear missile launches, it goes vroom into the air. And then when people see a nuclear missile coming, they get in their cars and they go vroom to get away from that. And then when it hits the ground, it goes vroom. That's not vroom. That's boom. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I'm gonna add that to the PowerPoint. Hey, Ball, you still just make mason jars, right, buddy? Oh, uh, we actually sold that part of the company. We don't do mason jars anymore. Oh, well, what do you guys make now? Uh, we still do canned packaging, aerospace engineering. We also have a new aluminum party cup that is very recyclable, which we think is fun. What was the middle one? Aerospace. That includes human-machine interface as well as lasers. 
That sounds like Skynet. What do you do with the human machine interface? We used it to help a quadriplegic race car driver drive race cars again. <gasps> That's so nice. What do you do with the lasers? Shutting down bad guys. <sighs> there it is. They can also defend against missiles. We can make you your own customizable satellite. We actually put things on the web and Hubble telescope so we can see the alien enemies before they get here. What if the aliens are friendly? They won't be. That's why we helped design the systems in the F-35. Please stop. Go back to the happy helping quadriplegic people thing. I mean, yeah, with the human machine interface, we believe people of any ability will now be able to fight aliens. Hey, Dow Chemicals, you guys invented saran wrap? That's really cool. Yeah, but then we sold it to Johnson & Johnson because we like the other things we do way more. Well, okay, what else did you make? We are very passionate about getting people to the hospital. We invented metals that go in car engines that make them more efficient. We also have magnesium for road flares and then bromine for medicines. Well, that all sounds good, but can't bromine also be used for tear gas? And the bottom chlorobenzene that we made, along with the phenol, could also be used in explosives. We also ended up doing aircraft parts in plastics, which we thought were neat. Okay, and after World War II, you stopped with all the death things, right? No, we were just warming up. Define warming up. We produced plutonium triggers for nuclear bombs. We also did napalm and Agent Orange during Vietnam. A lot of people stopped because they had moral and ethical concerns, but we couldn't find any of those, so we did them anyway. That is all literally warming up. What else? Uh, then we purchased Union Carbide, the people that are responsible for the largest chemical disaster in Indian history, but we didn't do it. But we wanted to buy them so that we could take credit for it eventually. Why? You had enough problems on your own! We might have done some tax evasion, we might have poisoned a river in Michigan, and we almost for sure definitely did not poison a town in Colorado. Have you made anything since Saran Wrap that actually helps people? Uh, yeah, we made silicones. How does that help? Fake tits. We're the only company that can say this because we've done both. Your fake titties are, in fact, the bomb. This is on behalf of everybody, everywhere. Why did you do this? Wait, was I the villain? Hey, Subaru, what do you make, buddy? Uh, we started out making scooters out of airplane parts, but apparently now we just make cars for lesbians, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Like, how do you make cars specifically for lesbians? I'm honestly not sure, but what else do you make? We make the AH-64D Apache attack helicopter. What? Why? Oh, we make them specifically for Japan, which makes sense because we used to make them planes during that big war thing that we don't like to talk about. You didn't bomb Pearl Harbor, did you? Subaru? And we also made anime. Why did you make an anime? So that people forget about that time we bombed Pearl Harbor. Hey, Samsung, what do you make, buddy? Yeah, we make cell phones and washing machines. Do you make anything that blows up on purpose? Yes. What? We make the K-9 Thunder self-propelled artillery. You make a gun that shoots dogs at people? Nah, it shoots 155 millimeter artillery shells, roughly 60 kilometers. Isn't that almost the exact distance from the South Korean capital to the North Korean border? What? That's crazy. What a totally random coinky dink. What else do you make? Oh, yeah, we make computers, printers, refrigerators, washing machines, high polymer chemicals. We do nanotechnology, biomedical engineering. Is there anything you don't do? Though we've been accused of it, we definitely don't have slush funds that control people in the South Korean government.